Having a job is the riskiest way to gain financial security and freedom. As a society, we're trained from an early age to go to school and get a good job. So it makes sense that most people think that this is the safest path to getting what you want. However, if that were true, then every person with a job would be safe from layoffs, furloughs, pandemics, changes in management, or whims of your employer. We all know that that's not true though. If we look at anyone who truly has security in their life, doesn't worry about money, and has a net worth that supports their freedom, they all have one thing in common. They're business owners. Can you find me any person who doesn't worry about money and has the freedom to choose how they live their lives that doesn't own some kind of business? It's really, really hard. So think about it. No one cares about what you want more than you do. No one cares about the impact that you want to have on the world more than you do. So does it make sense to put all of those things you want to accomplish into the hands of something that you have no control or say over? If you need to fix a toilet, you wouldn't hire an accountant to fix it. You'd hire the person most qualified to make that happen. And in the case of making your dreams come true, that person is you. Now, I know this may be going against the ways that you've been doing things, but starting a business puts you in the driver's seat. It lets you decide what impact you want to have on the world around you, what causes you want to support, how you want to help others, how you show up for yourself, your family, and your friends. It builds your future and your pocketbook instead of somebody else's. So let me ask you this question. If you can't trust yourself, who can you trust? You're the only person that truly has your best interest at heart. You're the only person that can make your dreams come true. You're the only person that can get you into that position to help others. So isn't it more important to support your own interests rather than putting years of hard work into somebody else's? Have you ever considered how selfish it is to not start a business and not get your unique abilities and perspectives out there to help others? The world is missing out on seeing your unique and exciting perspectives because you're afraid to take the risky path and start a business that can not only provide for you financially, but it could help so many others. For me, I wanna create change and I want people to be empowered to do what they truly wanna do without money being the main motivator. I want people to be happier in their daily lives because when we're all happier, happiness spreads to others around us. If everyone was happier and more fulfilled each day, the world would be a completely different place. And I want to create a better world for my kids and their generation so they know that they can follow their dreams and do it in a way that is not only profitable, but it's also impactful. So what kind of change do you want to make? What would it look like if you busted past this fear of risk that comes with starting a business? What kind of impact could you have on the world around you? What higher purpose would you start living if you weren't shackled to a job that was unfulfilling? These are all questions that you should consider when thinking about whether your job is truly safe or if it isn't. I'm willing to wager that it's more risky to have a job because it's preventing you from sharing your unique gifts with the world and making the impact that you truly want to make. So if you're ready to start a business or figure out how to run one better that supports your life, your goals, and your security, then I want you to click on the link in the comments to join the Commonwealth Today Facebook group. In that group, we talk about businesses and wealth building strategies that put you in control of your money and your freedom. And there's a ton of content waiting there all just for you. So I look forward to seeing you there. Take care.